Have you looked at LifeStraw as a backup water filter in case of an emergency or if you lose water at your homestead? Well, today we're gonna take a look at it and see if it's worth all the hype. So the LifeStraw came out about 20 years ago actually now, and it got a lot of awards, had a lot of acclaim uh, here in the US. But is it something that would actually work here uh, as a backup water filter in the United States? So let's start off with the specs here. Uh, the LifeStraw is advertised to remove about 99.999999 percentage of bacteria, 99.999 percentage of parasites, and 99.999 a percentage of microplastics, dirt, sand, and cloudiness. It does that through a filter that has a pore size of 0.2 microns. And this will be important a little bit later, so remember that. And it claims to last for up to a thousand gallons. So this can last for a quite a long period of time for what it is and how cheap it is. So speaking of, the real perks to this filter is that, uh, the first is that it's super cheap. You can get it for under 20 bucks. This one I got for 17 on Amazon. The link's below if you need them. The other perk is it's super easy to use. All you do is you pop the top off the bottom here, you pop the top uh, plug off the top here, and then all you do is you lean down and basically lay down next to a stream or whatever, put your mouth on here and suck it up as you put this into that dirty water source and it will filter it as it goes. So it's pretty simple. Now the one glaring problem to this life straw system, there are some that are advertised but they're significantly more expensive that uh, don't have this problem, but is that it doesn't get rid of viruses in the water. Now, I understand most times this is not gonna be a factor, especially here in North America, if you're using it as a emergency water filter, you just don't need that. But if you're going hiking, uh, especially in other countries where you know viruses are a problem or your body is not used to them, then the life straw is probably not the filter for you because really in order to filter out viruses, you need a, a filter that's like basically a hundred times uh, smaller micron than this. So while this has 0.2, you need like a 0 0.02 or a 0 0.002 micron pore size in a filter to get rid of viruses. So quite a bit smaller than this. So for probably about 98% of uses of this life straw would work perfect. You know, your backpacking trips, um, any sort of emergency water supply, stuff like that. But there is a small percentage if you're concerned about viruses where this is not gonna be good and it could actually get you sick because you're drinking out of water that has bad viruses. Overall, I like it though. It's simple, cheap, lightweight, and uh, you can have a bunch of these just tossed in your bag just in case. We're gonna test out to see how good this actually can filter water out. So we're gonna do a little bit of test with my wife. She has no idea we're doing this. I've just told her to expect to be on camera. <laughs> so we're gonna take four bottles of water. Uh, the first is gonna be straight tap water. The second is gonna be uh, the run through the fridge filter that's in our fridge. The third is gonna be straight bottled water. And then the fourth is gonna be through this life straw. Now, I did get a nice, disgusting, dirty sample of water. Uh, from some standing water in our backyard. It is downright disgusting. So we're gonna pump uh, this water through here using a uh, brand new gas siphon pump that hasn't been used. Uh, so that way we can try and get some clean water from this to use in the test. Now once we have, especially the life water, filtered water into a bottle and all the rest, we're gonna actually put them all in the fridge for a few hours just so that way she can't tell between fridge filtered water and this water so they're all the same temperature then we're gonna see what she thinks of how it tastes. So we got our bottle marked D and that is for the live straw filtered water. Um, and then here we have our siphon pump. Sure. And then I'm also gonna try and not get the dirt at the bottom. Clog in the filter. There we go. Okay, so you have to prime it. Okay, so a very interesting thing. So at first I wasn't able to pull anything up at all, as you saw. But then um, what I went and did is I rinsed the bottom end. I put the top cap on so it wouldn't, you know, get it 
infected. <laughs> and then I uh, rinsed out the top. I put a bunch of water in, emptied it out, like dumped it out, did that a few times. And then I basically put some water in and I blew it out from the top. So I've got a bunch of gunk out. Then I put it in the top of the water here, not in the, in the sediment, but in just the dirty water. And uh, it immediately started working. The problem is, is the color. A little yellow. So, and that's all I could get. So, I will probably end up, I'll put this in the fridge, but I'll probably end up taking all the water levels down to this and we'll do a blind taste test for life and see. So that way she can't identify the color, but I don't know. It almost looks like water. But, um, I'm honestly kind of disappointed um, that it clogs so, so easily because that's, that's exactly what happened is that this guy um, as soon as it got just a tiny bit of dirt or uh, junk in there it coated it completely and wouldn't allow anything to get in so that's the main one of the main downfalls of this guy and that's what I've read a lot online about this is that if you have a lot of gunk in your water like that it's not gonna do very well so um, it's another minus probably by this but anywho We'll get this bottle in the fridge and uh, we'll get all this cleaned up and we'll see what the wife thinks of the taste of these waters here in a bit. All right, well, change of plans. So uh, wife isn't feeling good, so we're gonna do this ourselves. So I have the bottles cold in a bag and a blindfold. So basically I'm going to put the blindfold on, taste them, put them down here um, and try and tell you and show you when I'm drinking it which is which and see how close and accurate I can get. So, without further ado, fine, pulled on. The first bottle, I don't know if that's, you can see that or not, no idea. But, I'm gonna try it. Smells normal. I don't know. It kinda has a dirt taste. That could be D. That could be the life straw. But I don't know, it could be tap water too. Let's see. Number two here, whatever letter, I can't tell if that's anywhere in the camera. Oh, that one definitely has a different taste. This one. This one tastes like ground. So, I'm guessing this is D or the um, Lystraw water, and then this is definitely, I think, tap water. So, I think tap water was A, if I'm not mistaken, and we'll do D on the far left. Next one, whatever letter uh, that is. That tastes like filtered water or bottled. It's either B or C. I'm not, I'm not positive. But I imagine bottled water and the filtered water from the fridge are gonna taste very similar. And last bottle. See, that also tastes different. That tastes like bottled water. I think this is bottled water. That's my guess. So, yeah, so I'd go tap filtered, live straw, bottled. All right, C. <laughs> so I, I think I got it exactly correct. Yep, tap, filtered, bottled, and live straw. Um, so <coughs> honestly, this didn't taste a whole lot different than, than regular water, except for a slight like dirt taste. That's really it. Um, it wasn't bad. Like if I was really thirsty in an emergency situation or if I was hiking, I would totally drink it. Um, but yeah, not a whole lot of difference. You can definitely taste the difference. Bottled water has that aftertaste of the bottle. Okay. This definitely has a great taste. So filtered and A is just tap water because it tastes just blah. So, so final verdict here. Um, I think the live straw will be one of my options here as a backup, but it won't be the option. Unfortunately, it's just not the best solution. It's just a cheap, easy to get um, 
usable solution. So uh, while this will work for the majority of things, uh, we'll definitely have a really nice filter uh, uh, in addition to this. So speaking of an additional filter, uh, we are going to be comparing this, the life straw uh, from this video, uh, to the Sawyer Squeeze, or Sawyer Squeeze, Squeeze. I can't pronounce that, the Sawyer Squeeze um, in an upcoming video. So we'll see how they compare in terms of specs and to see how they filter uh, and see uh, which one comes out on top. So anywho, thanks guys for joining us. If you're looking for a Life Straw or any other uh, uh, products that you've seen here in any of our videos, check the comments below and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks again, y'all. Bye.